Welcome back to the Family Day Trippers and a brand new series here on the channel. This is our tips to make the most of your day out at Alton Towers. Firstly, download the app. Even with the best laid plans and following our tips, sometimes you need to be able to work on the fly and checking the queue times will always help you do this. Don't despair if there's a long queue for the monorail, or as it is at the moment not open, it is literally only a 10 to 15 minute walk to the park entrance. Start your day by heading to the back of the park in the dark forest where you can ride 13 and Rita. Getting both these rides done early in the morning will save you a lot of time come the afternoon when this part of the park can become very popular. Get a cheeky little ride on Hex and then move over to the X Sector. Oblivion rarely gets a queue over 30 minutes, which then leads you to the Smiler. With it being one of Alton Tower's most popular rides, the Smiler queue line can always get quite long, but hopefully the morning rush would have moved on and now the queue line, with fingers crossed, should be under an hour. At this point in proceedings, you might fancy taking a break and having a spot of lunch, before then moving on and continuing your day with a ride on Spinball Wizard. Up next is Alton Tower's newest roller coaster, Wicker Man. Again, a very popular ride on park, but with good throughputs, generally the queue lines can stay below an hour. But again, always consult your app for queue times and the queue boards at the front of the queues. Continuing in a clockwise direction around the park, we find ourselves in Britannia Camp, where we get to ride the runaway mine train, the Congo River Rapids, then Jewel, which very rarely ever has a queue, which then leads you to Forbidden Valley, the final area of the park, where you get to ride Nemesis. Not only regarded as still one of the best roller coasters at Old Towers, but still in the country. Then if you've got time, have a little go on Blade and finish your day off at Galactica. By finishing your day off at Galactica, you'll find that the gates at the back of the park will open up, which lead onto the car park, which saves you from going back to the front of the park and doing the 15 minute walk back to the car park. By all means, we've not featured all the rides and attractions at Old Towers, but we hope it gives you some sort of insight on how you can get all the major rides and roller coasters in and make the most of your day. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, please consider subscribing, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.